two former MVPs discussing their next contract. Two years ago this week, in 2017, something weird happened. The plane carrying the University of Michigan's men's basketball team slid off the runway while it was about to take off. Mother of God, what happened? Hi, everybody, and welcome to Short Shots with a touch of trivia. Well, what happened was nothing. All the passengers on the plane escaped in unharmed. That was the good news. But the bad news, the plane was damaged and the team could not leave Michigan that evening. However, the following day, the Wolverines arrived for their first round game of the Big Ten basketball tournament in Washington, D.C., only 90 minutes before the tip-off, before they went on to defeat the Illinois Fighting Illini 75-55. The Wolverines played in their practice uniforms because their regular uniforms were still on the pl damaged plane. Locally, the Hazel Area Lady Cougars and the Lady Wreckers of Weatherly advanced into this week's second round of playoffs. Gavio's Gals defeated Central Bucks West on a buzzer beater by Lady Cougar Virginia Yurchak, 40 to 38, after trailing by 7, 33, 26, going into the final stanza. They advanced into the second round with a 20 and 5 record. Weatherly's girls, coached by Kevin Kringy, were clinging to a four point lead with just over three minutes to play before closing last Saturday's opening round game on a 19 to 0 run over Christian Academy to pull away to a 64-41 win to avenge last year's loss to the same team. Lindsey Hoffman led the way with 24. It was Weatherly's first state tournament win in 33 years, boys and girls, since 1986. The records are 17 and 8. The Hazel Area boys season ends at Wilkes, losing to the Thackton by 22. Demir Faison was out with an injured knee. Kyle Franick with 15 and Andrew Vida with 11 tried to pick up the slack but the team fell short. The Cougars finished their season at 18 and eight with WBC Division I and district titles. The Marion Colts and Phillies were also eliminated last week, so now all eyes will fall on the Hazelden area and Weatherly girls. I'll also keep an eye on the only two teams in the entire boys and girls state tournaments that are still undefeated. 26 and old Dunmore will play 27 and old St. Basil tomorrow. Finally, kudos to Cougar wrestler Shane Noonan who did not win a state title, but came very close. Till next time, be a good sport and stay loose.